Hello, I am Test Drive, and welcome to episode 22 of Test Drive Unlimited. We're in this episode. We are going to be doing the. If I switch over the filters here, we're going to be working on the time challenges in this episode. So, I don't know how long all these will take or anything, um, but I don't know. We're going to start out with the Ferrari one because why not? I have nothing better to do at the moment. We will switch to my Schmenzo Ferrari. And let's get started. Oops, I just smacked my microphone. Sorry about that. That's a neat color. Ooh, look at that color that I picked. Oh, it's just straight to the finish. Okay. Thank you for finally shifting. It's having issues. So it looks like the goal is to be as flat out as possible through as much of this race as possible. Kind of. Turn right. Do you have to turn right here? At the next intersection, turn left. Turn left. At the next intersection, turn Ah, right. so much turning. Turn right. This honestly might be one of the best suited A-class cars in the game. Like, it, it handles well, it doesn't spin its tires that much, like, compared to, like, the Selena 7 and crap. Yeah. I don't know. Might end up using it for uh, some of the A-class races. Or the MC-12. The MC-12 was pretty fantastic as well. Come on, half a mile. Oh, I see. I have uh, a lot of time left. We're pretty good. Even if I do run into house like that. And smashing the AI car. Traffic car at the very end. Alright, there we go. 75 grand. It would have been half nice to have all this money coming in a while ago. Let's see, what else do I have open so far? I don't have to drive to. Do I have a Ducati? I don't have a Ducati, do I? Or do I? No? Do I? I don't know. I have a Triumph and two MV Augustas. That's what I have. Uh, B class. What else we got here? The... Sure, let's do this. With this car. Because the reason I want to start end off with the uh, race, race, races, race, races, what? The races um, is because the car that you win from that is a very special car, and a car that I like very much. Even though, of course, then I won't be able to use it. But whatever. I mean, there's always I can always come back and play this game more. You know, do all the missions and everything at some point, maybe on stream or something. Which, if you don't know, I stream every now and then. I haven't actually streamed in a while, though. Um, but I do plan to stream a little bit more in the near future. Uh, there's a link to do to follow my Twitch channel down in the description below. And I will probably record some of my new Let's Plays on there, too. Or while streaming, you know. Because I can now, because I can actually see, like, chat and stuff. Because I have two monitors set up again. Because my computer was being stupid and didn't want to register the fact that there were two monitors hooked into it for a while. Which is why I didn't stream PC stuff. That was what's playing like this game. Whatever. Alright, checkpoint 3 of 5. Heck point. I feel like I'm gonna have to make a hard right here somewhere. Ah, not quite. Not really a hard right. A moderately hard right. I had to slow down quite a bit. Alright, where's your finish line at? Here, 0.8 miles away. I can do this. Maybe. Depending on how many uh, light poles I hit. Go, Ferrari. Mr. Enzo. Uh. Go! 59? Yeah, I barely made it. We good. 
I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. Alright, uh, what's this one? No restriction, alright. 1.9 miles. Descent of the Marchetti. It's an interesting name. There's a house up here that I probably don't own. Let's go! Go! Ah! I'm having issues already going down this mountain. That's a good thing I decided to use this car, which is a very, very stable car, because, like, bruh. Ah, the Selena 7 would have been awful up here. I even think the, uh, Murchilago would have done that well, honestly. Go! Come on. Oh yeah, I got it. We're good. 106. Alright, we're in the gold cup. Alright, what's next? What's down here? What is this? Triumph. I don't I, I don't have a triumph on me. The Mellet Loop. Isn't that on Fort Island? That is on Fort Island. Look at that. So the road goes over here. So we'll transport, right transport, teleport to right there. Gotta drive 2.1 miles to get there. Or whatever. Right. At the next oh, goodbye. Turn right. My headset's turn still backwards, right. by the way. I've never fixed this yet. I should probably do that. Ah! But now we get to see Fort Island for the first time. Which is always cool. Your destination is 1.5 miles away. So yeah, basically just drive up this really long straight bridge. And then here is what is known as Fort Island. It's usually blocked off if you're too low of a level. Uh, I don't remember. I think it was amateur or pro I unlocked it at. I can't remember. Somewhere around there. And I find it funny that they have a vent up here. I guess it is a racetrack of sorts looking at it. It's a very strange racetrack. All right, the Mellet Loop. Let's do it. Three, two, one, go! Turn right. I have turned right. Ah, this isn't really a racetrack. There's like things painted on the ground for traffic. I don't know why I'm slowing down there. Not good. Oh, it makes it where you can't like cheat and go through the grass. That's why they put a fucking checkpoint there. Please, thank you. Where's the finish line at? Still going. Thought we were like closer than, I, than we were. Me big stupid. So basically it takes you around the entirety of Fort Island, which is kind of cool. It actually does. It takes you literally around the entire island. Like around every single part of the road. Ah! There we go. And the race finished. The Mellet Loop has been done. There's 75 Grand Arena. 
Alright, what else have we got here? Oh, there's one little spot of River Road I haven't discovered there. Oops. Alright, what else do we got? What is this? Lamborghini time attack. You know what? Fine, let's do it. I'll switch to my uh, Murchilago for it. Nope, don't want to fucking... Nope. Trying to fucking sell the road here. There we go. Alright, where is my Murchilago coupe? There we go. And let's start. Arr got quite the uh, quite the revel winner. Oh, we got a penalties, and we have one checkpoint, which is me to finish. All right, At the next I can deal with this. Turn right. Turn right. As long as there's no cops, I'll be happy. At the next intersection, turn left. But I don't know so far. Turn left. I'm hoping. At the next intersection, turn right. Hoping that there's no cops. Turn right. Please, Jeff, thank you. So far, I haven't seen a single cop, and I haven't ran into one. So there's a little bit of hope. Just a little bit, though. I'll drive, like, right in the middle of the road so I don't hit anything. Invisible. This car isn't incredibly fast in a straight line, surprisingly. Not as fast as I thought it would be. I guess it does have a lower horsepower than a lot of the cars that can go like 250 or whatever. What? Oh, we gotta go this way. Okay. What are these roads? Ah! Stay right, stay left, stay right, stay left. What the hell? Oop. I didn't get a penalty from it. I got a penalty from going off the road after hitting the car, but not from actually hitting the car. Seems legit. Ah, damn it. Oh, there, bud. Hey, there's a person driving a Lamborghini at 200 miles per hour on this road towards me. Better get him, go towards him. All right, what the hell's going on here? Why is there so much traffic? Why am I on this side of the road? That is an incredibly good question, because I didn't need to be on this land side of the road at all. Hey, it's a fire dealer. Oh, God! Hopefully the penalty wasn't too bad. Nah, only seven seconds. All right. We good. What else do we got to do here? For time attack events. What is this? Oh, that's way up a road that I haven't discovered. Um, what about over here? What's over here? Ducati day. I don't have a Ducati, I don't think. Or apparently I do, or something, I don't know. Sure, let's do this one for B-class cars. What B-class cars do I have, actually? I have my Viper again... The XJ220. I can lie, I kind of want to use... I'm going to use a Mercedes. I want to use a Mercedes. CLK DTM. Hell yeah. Nope, we're not shifting up, I guess. We're stuck in third gear. I actually can't shift up. I actually can't. There we go. Wow, that only took 30 seconds. At Jesus. The turn left. Turn left. Did I lose? I lost! Yay! Alright, we're trying. Son of a bitch. Three, two, one, go! Maybe if it didn't screw me by shifting or not shifting up the fourth gear from third gear, I may I may have made it. There's only a 13 second penalty, and I was only what? 12, 11 seconds? Ahead. Something like that? I don't know. It was very close, I know that. At 
At the next intersection, turn left. Turn left. This car really does not want to shift. It's about the worst one I've seen. Which is weird because the SLR was one of the cars that actually did, was like, that actually was uh, able to shift no matter what. It's like, yeah, it's a Mercedes. Damn it. Well, I didn't lose any points, so that's good. No penalties yet. I don't know why they made it like that. You can go off there just a tiny bit and not get penalties. But then after you get past a certain point, it's like, nope, you don't get anything. Oh, there we go. There's that. If I would have used the Corvette, I probably would have won on the first try. God. At the next intersection, turn left. Turn left. All right, one lap down, 159. About the same as last time. Let's do this. Ah, no, none of that. Ain't having none of that. Shit. At the next intersection, turn left. Turn left. Ah. Turn left. Damn it. Turn left. Damn it. That didn't work out very well. Go! Alright, will you shift up from third this time? Yes, you will. Thank God. At the next intersection, turn left. Turn left. Damn it. All right, got that time for sure. Yeah, exactly eight seconds of penalties. That's impressive. Okay, what else do we have left? We have Ducatis, an MA class race, and it looks like everything's done up top. What is this one? Triumph time attack. Actually, Triumph, Triumph time attack is one bike. There's only one Triumph bike, or one Triumph in the game, and it is a bike. So let's do that next. Your itinerary is being recalculated. Shift, thank you. Donald is near me. What does that dealership? Oh, it's a Chevy. Wait, what? Chevy? There's no Chevrolet dealership over here. What the hell? I mean, obviously, because there was nothing there to click on to go in the Chevy dealership, but whatever. I don't know if they expected to be more DLC or what. Ah. Ah. Your destination is a half a mile away. A half of a mile away. There's a cop in front of me somewhere. I don't know where he was. Or if you even existed, but the map seems to think so. Alright, change the vehicle to the Triumph Speed Triple. And let's start. 
Oh, it's, yeah, it's a time race. It's not a race race. Duh. I was like, oh, yeah, we're all going to be in the same car. But it's like, no, I'm just driving the one Triumph there actually is in this game. And we have penalties, which is going to be awful for a motorcycle race. And traffic. Hooray. I hate everything. Alrighty. Now, I'm just going to restart that because that was, that was some RNG bullshit right there. That was some RNG bullshit. It really was. Alright, let's try this again. The bikes didn't actually shift pretty well as well. Don't know why, but they do. Bikes in the Mercedes SLR. Where does this race even go? Is it just like down a straight road? Hello? Hello? Just cruising going 150. Ah, that's not gonna help out. Ah! Fifth gear is ultimate gear. I'm gonna die. I'm not gonna die. Wait, what? There are boundaries, but there is traffic. Excuse me? And I saw the main reason why there usually isn't is because traffic just ran into one. So I guess this race is just like, you know, go straight down this road for a while. Oh, we got to turn around up here somewhere. Where is the turnaround going to be? Oh, it's actually like at the end of this road. Okay. Oh, it's a lot of cars. Look at that. Alright, now we go the other way. On almost the same road. So staying on the shoulder seems to be a good idea. It has uh, been... Oh, that one's way off somewhere else. What the hell? Oh no, we're just going around the turn. Haha, <laughs> I'm smart. Drafting off of traffic, because that's what I do. Alright. Two more checkpoints left. God, what a boring race. Ah, didn't turn that far. I don't want to go off the road quite yet. Oh, great, we got actual turns, okay. At the end of the race, oh, for fuck's sake. Ah, what the hell? Uh, hopefully this penalty isn't too big. Less than five seconds, hopefully. Is it? Oh, it's six seconds. Ay, fucking goddamn it. All right, let's retry it again. All right, here we go. No penalties. Should get it this time. Cool. Don't do that again. I wasn't looking forward to doing it again if I had to. I'm gonna actually turn my headset around for once. Alright, let's, uh, what are we doing now? What else is there to do? There are four races, five races left to do. What is this one? Chevrolet? I have a car for that. I have a, actually, I have a fully upgraded Corvette just for that. Give me out of his damn motorcycle. Look at this dude. He's like, he's ready. He's got a Camaro. He's ready to do the Chevrolet time attack. You have reached your destination. Change me vehicle to the Z06 Coupe. 
Let's do it. Oh, we got penalties. God damn it. Why does everything have to penalties? What the hell? What the heck? Alright, we guys got 3.3 miles to get to our destination. Hmm. Damn it. I lost one driving point so far. Oh god. Hopefully there's no cops on this. Cause that would suck. Especially if they were invisible. Appear to be any cops, which I can thoroughly appreciate. One point one miles to go. Next intersection, turn left. All right, I have turned left, left, left. At the next intersection, turn left. Turn left. Ah! Go, Corvette, go! Go, Johnny, go, go, go! Oh wait, I have... I have over a minute remaining still. So actually, I have just about a minute remaining. I think I'll be okay. And off the road. Alright, that was easy. Got 0.1 seconds of penalties. All right, what else? We got motorcycle stuff, because I do have an MA, MA class motorcycle, and we got this race. What is this race? Aston Martin. Sure, I'll do it. I have Aston Martins. I have the best Aston Martin, the Vanquish. Is being recalculated. You have reached your destination. I have reached my destination. Let's use the Vanquish. Let's a go. Go. Luckily, we have no penalties on this one, so I don't have to worry about that. We may have cops though, which I'm not looking forward to. Ah! Uh, my god! Don't know how I made through all that unscathed, but I sure did. Alright. I'm surprised I actually have a shifting app bad either, honestly. Oops. Scathe that van a little bit. Ah! Ow. There's no cops, which is a fantastic thing. Don't let me T bone anybody. Please don't. Thank you for having green lights there, actually. That's pretty fantastic. And I got a minute to get to the finish. We got a mile left. Pretty easy peasy. Even though I didn't upgrade this car or anything. Ah. There we go. Aston Martin done. 
Will this have some run race? There might be one more actual race. I don't know. There we go. Let's head back to the map arena real quick. So we got this race. It's in the middle of fucking nowhere. Which I am not looking forward to driving to. And then these two up here. This one for... This one's for MA. Yeah. Which I have an MA class motorcycle, so... I can actually do this one. Your itinerary is being I just love Ducati. I have two MV Gustas and uh, fucking Triumph. I had a Ducati, or I had two Ducatis at one point, but yeah, they kind of got sold. Just a little bit. All right, let's go. Please don't be any, yay. No penalties. I kept doing this one 3.1 miles. Which was that one race I did with it beforehand. This motorcycle is incredibly fast. As you can tell. Ah! We're good. And we're at 200, almost. Oh, we got 200. I saw it. God, this bike is fast. And honestly terrifying. I don't care. Ah. I'll drive off the road. I ain't scared. Uh, I'm not exactly going to drive off the road to get to the next checkpoint here. I just got fucking taken out. Please, Jeff, thank you. This might be a tunnel up here, actually. I don't remember off the top of my head, though. Yeah, wait, is it? No, not quite yet. At least. Oh! Oh! Damn it. There's a tunnel I was thinking of. All right, two miles to the final checkpoint. Oh my God. Oh, I almost stayed on the road. I guess I didn't hit the guardrail. That almost could have been very bad. Alright, one mile to go. One minute to go. Another easy peasy one. Maybe. I can stop hitting traffic. And there we go, across the line. 75 grand. So, we have two races left to do. Two uh, time attacks, I believe. Yeah, judging by the fact I don't see any more. Um, you know what, I'm gonna buy a Ducati to do the other Ducati race. And then we'll go from there. I didn't think I need to upgrade it, honestly. I was thinking about it, but I was like, nah, there's no need to. Ducati 999R. Give me 9999999. Heckin' nines. Then go to this, go to here, click on 
this. There we go. And let's go. Let's give a Ducati MA motorcycle a try. MA class motorcycle. One. Go. 320.07 reference score. Why 320.07? Why not just 320? Ah. traffic on this one, which is fantastic. Because I feel like I would have seen traffic by now. Alright, gotta slow down. Surprisingly, got through that better than I expected. Ah! I hit that checkpoint at least. Get back on the road, dingus. Get back on the road, dingus. There we go. Kind of. It's off the road. There we go. Turn left. I'm trying. It's hard. Motorcycles are hard to control. Ah! Ah! Okay. Okay, I'm alive. We're on lap two of two, apparently. Even though this was a lap race. Oh, God. Very vibratey. What the hell? There's where you're supposed to take that turn. Oh god. No, no more of this shenanigans. Don't want to deal with that again. Turn left. I have turned left. Okay. And they're a pretty easy victory. Honestly. There we go. 999R. Alright, one more event left to go. One more for this episode, at least. I was going to split these up into like two different episodes, but nah. Alright, we got to drive up to here somehow, some way. I'm just gonna fucking follow this road back. It goes to here. Wait, where does that road go? Oh, it goes to there. Okay. So, that's where I need to follow. God damn, that's a fucking road. I have to drive up like five times. Alright, whatever. We're going We're going to here. I really don't want to do this in the motorcycle, but I'm gonna, I guess I'm going to do it in the speed. motorcycle. Oh, what the hell just happened there? All right, whatever. I'm a mile away, so I'll start talking again, I guess. Oh, God, I got launched. Don't know why, but I sure as hell did. <laughs> got launched there, too. God damn it. This is quite the, uh, quite the road. I kind of hope we go the other way down this hill instead of this way down the hill, or up the hill or whatever. Because I don't want to do that section again. Alright, we're here. Whatever. 
Let's see, what should I drive? I have lots of cars I could pick. So we got the Enzo, which is the good old, good old thing. SLR, eh. Pagani. Not driving the S7. I kind of want to drive the CLK GTR. Actually, shit. F1 LM. Let's just do the F1 LM. I haven't used it yet. Middle seat. Middle seating. We got nine. Oh my. <laughs> Alright, so we got nine miles of this fucking race with penalties, with traffic. Oh my god. I mean, if there's any car that can do this, it's the F1, though. I'd say at least. Ah! Supposedly this F1. The LM. Got seven and a half minutes to do it, too. Ah. This road is ridiculous. Oh, jeez. Sorry I'm not talking much, I'm just focusing hardcore on this. Ah! Damn it. Get all the way on the road. Oh, rip. He made it a smash. Thank you, let me smash. This appears to be no cops, and no invisible cops specifically. Oh, I knew I was gonna get fucked by going on the side of the road. Why'd I do it? God, you can see a lot from up here. Holy shit. Why are you people driving your fucking SUVs up here? It's like a road you take like Miatas up, and that's about it. Should be fun as hell, fun as hell in real life, though. I have to say, it is. I guess it's similar to to uh, Tale of the Dragon. But I don't think Tale of the Dragon is like an uphill or a downhill thing. It's just kind of flat. I think. I can't remember off the top of my head. At the next intersection. Turn oh, we got an intersection. Turn left. Ah. Wait, where are we going now? Oh, we're going... Oh, okay. We're down the hill. So that's nice. Good start. Don't know where we're going now, but we're going somewhere. Ah! Get off the wall. At the next intersection, turn left. Okay. Turn left. I have turned left. I really don't feel like going on the opposite side of the highway. Screw you. We're going this side of the highway. At the next I don't care if it was going to be like half a second faster. Oh. Please stop. Okay. Now we're back in the areas I recognize. Yay! Ooh, we're going this way. This time around. At the next intersection, turn right. Ah. Oh. Turn right. Ah. 
There's no cars in front of me. Where are we going exactly? I thought it was just to be down the hill and that was it. We got a little bit more. Eh, okay. At the next intersection, turn right. Turn right. Okay. Turn right. Turn left. Hey, it's a crater. Are we going in the crater? <gasps> We're going in the crater. I said I wanted to do this, but I didn't actually turn never right. got didn't ever actually get around to it. Cool. I like the crater. I like the crater. Uh, I can't see anything past this hill. Alright. So who's the inside of the crater, by the way? There's not really anything in here, I don't think. There's a, yeah, there's a V right in here, and that's the it. Intersection. Turn left. Turn left. Turn right. Oh my god. This race was ridiculous. Ridiculous. And we end up at a house up here, actually. Now I remember. Don't do that. Alright, finish with a minute to spare. Just about. Alrighty. So that is all of the time attack events, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, there we go. Perseverance has paid off. Fear efforts have allowed you to finish all the single player time challenges. What card do I get from it? It'll tell me in a second. There we go. Ah, the W12. W12 coupe, not the convertible though. Not the Roadster. You can pick it up at Volkswagen. Which I will happily do real quick. There it is. W12 coupe. Standard Volkswagen W12 coupe wheels. Okay. Alright, there we go. We finished another section of the game. So, that will conclude this here episode of Test Drive Unlimited. Be sure to tune in for the next episode, which will be pretty much the finale, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I have really nothing else to show for now. I really don't feel like doing all the missions and everything, because, again, they're a pain in the ass with invisible cops and all that shit. So, I don't know. Anyways, this will conclude this episode. And, for now, I am out of here. See ya.